Well, thanks a lot. We are coming to you from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, where we are inching ever closer to the 98th Rose Bowl game, which will be played on Monday right here in Pasadena, where we have warm temperatures once again today. Now, one of the big storylines in this game as we get ready for the 98th Rose Bowl is the preparation time for the bowl games. Now, in the last two BCS bowl games, the Ducks have scored 17 points against Ohio State and 19 points in last year's BCS title game against the Auburn Tigers, leading some to believe that given more preparation time, defenses can get ready for Chip Kelly's high-powered, high-paced offense but not everybody's buying into that. It's just sort of an annoying little fact that we sort of struggled in bowl games, but uh, and, or games at times we're prepared. But you know, I think we're ready to shake that one too. We'll find out. You know, I mean, there's 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 uh, things that they're going to do differently that we haven't seen before. And when you have this much time, you know, that the coaches get bored, and so you have to have to tweak it a little bit. If you had to prepare for this offense in the normal game week, it, it would be hard, very hard, unless it's something you see every day from your offense. And I think that's why they have so much success because it is a hard uh, prep from the tempo, the types of plays, and, and just the talent that they have on the field. So having the extra time definitely helps. And when you factor in this year's season opening loss to LSU in Dallas, that makes three high profile games in the recent history where the Oregon offense has not been itself in a big game. Now, of course, the guy getting all the headlines in Southern California today has been Mark Asper, the offensive lineman who saved a man at Lowry's the prime rib Wednesday night in Beverly Hills. Let's check in now with Dirk Weishart, who is there. Tom, it happened here at Lowry's, the prime rib in Beverly Hills. Mark Asper was dining at this table when he noticed a commotion across from him at this table here. Tom Diamond was choking on some prime rib. A chef here at Lowry's was attempting to give him the Heimlich. Mark stepped in and saved the day. I whipped in there and uh, the first uh, Heave was a test heave because the guy seemed a little old. I didn't want to break his ribs or anything. So test heave and then he seemed like he could handle a, a full force heave. So I popped it out. I would expect him to do it if any, anybody on our team, I would expect Mark to do it with a smile on his face. We always say he, he knows how to do everything. But um, he just all calmly got up out of his seat, walked through the crowd and, you know, maybe saved his life. You know, I think it's just, you know, it's just who he is and, you know, he's got, he's got little kids, so he's got to know how to do the Heimlich. Oregon's visit to Lowry's was followed by Wisconsin's visit on Thursday, said Badgers free safety Aaron Henry. He didn't think anyone on his team would know how to do that. He said that's what cell phones are for. Reporting from Lowry's in Beverly Hills, I'm Dirk Weissar. Tom, back to you. And we finally got a chance to talk to Oregon running back LaMichael James regarding that now famous Twitter photo where he was uh, looking less than enthused to be on the ride Space Mountain at Disneyland. He was quick to blame his buddy Kenyon Barner. And now another photo of the two riding roller coasters has surfaced where maybe Kenyon is having a little more fun at LaMichael's expense. We'll hear from both guys coming up in KVAL Sports at 6 o'clock. That'll do it for now. From the Rose Bowl, I'm Tom Ward reporting. Back to you.